Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is Yasmin Isa, and I'm welcoming you to class number eight of Glow from the Inside Out The Secrets to Radiant and Healthy Skin. Um, inshallah, there are so many skin tips that I could recommend. I think it was early 2000, was it 13 or 14? A while ago, I sent out, I did a Love Your Skin series and it was like 20 skin tips. But, um, you know, I, I, you know that I like to keep these videos actionable. So I'm gonna share with you my top skin tips and then we can, you know, dig deeper in our Q&A session. And um, before I begin though, I wanna do Musa's Dua, so here we go. Rabbi Shrahli Sadri, wa Yassirli Amri, wa Hlalaqtatam in the Sani of Kaukali. Okay. Number one, you want to not buy a bunch of different products for your skin. I mean, your skin does not need a bajillion different things. And um, you want to read what you're buying too. So a lot of the, you know, things that promise a lot of things have bad chemicals in them and whatnot. And a lot of products are created just so, you know, people will use them and whatnot. But really, less is more when it comes to your skin that's the first thing number two you want to make sure you exfoliate your skin especially the skin you know your your body skin you know your face is important too you want to be gentle with that and i'll talk about that but especially your body you want to rub away those dead skin cells now i'm not i was just talking about this in my fitness class last week i'm not talking about those body washes with those beads in them there are probably some good brands out there but the majority of brands you find in your typical store those beads are made of plastic Plastic and they're very very bad for you what I recommend is a natural loofah you know the ones that are like tan in color that come from like the natural sea sponge um, they look you know hard but once you put them in water they become really soft um, they dry very well so they don't hold bacteria in them and they're so it's relaxing it stimulates your lymphatic system any of you who are in the VIP um, part of this program you got one of those and um, it's really important to you know do that at least several times a week not every day but maybe like four times a week three times a week and your whole entire body you know and um, you know you could use like your favorite non-toxic body wash or whatever the case may be but that really um, is important and um, in terms of exfoliating your face you don't have to do that as often you know you might only want to do that like once every two weeks or whatnot you could use like a organic sugar scrub that you make by yourself just using organic cane sugar lemon um honey that mixed together that's a really good one or coconut oil and um cane sugar also works well um and yeah that's a good one too um tea tree oil is awesome for the skin now um bear with me for a second tea tree oil does have some phytoestrogen qualities um you know as do you know different types of foods and we spoke about phytoestrogens and our hormonal balance i believe though that tea tree oil is still very very good for you and um you know especially if you're doing things like having those raw carrots and you know helping balance out your hormonal balance in different areas it is not you know to the degree of soy that we were talking about but tea tree oil is awesome especially for acne, um, you know, I recommend taking a couple dots of tea tree oil every single night and, you know, using a very, very um, simple, fragrance-free, toxic-free face moisturizer, nothing fancy for your face um, mixed with the tea tree oil. That's really good. Um, getting your water, drinking your water is so important for your skin. And I know some of you are really working on that. I'm going to be sharing um, privately because this was part of my... Um, Part of videos that I did for Productive Muslim and also included in my Ramadan program, the um, about you know getting enough water during Ramadan. So I actually have a video I did a couple years ago on how to drink a whole gallon in the summer months of Ramadan. So you might even you don't need to drink a gallon a day. Um, you know, based on our formula, a gallon is 128 ounces. So we're talking, you know, like if you're 240 pounds, that's how much water you need to be drinking in a day. So most people are going to fall underneath that. But if I could teach you how to drink a gallon of water in that short Ramadan period where you're allowed to drink, you have no excuses the rest of the year. So I'm going to be sharing that with you, God willing. Sleep is really important for your skin health. Um, taking care of your gut, those probiotics also help your skin out. And um, if you want to do a mask, I really recommend uh, clay masks that are one ingredient. My two favorites, 
and you know I shared these um, you know I sent out some of these to the VIP um, participants of glow from the inside out is Moroccan red clay mask and you want to get one that's simply just um, Moroccan red clay in it and then also um, well we'll stick with that I'll mention the other one in our group God willing because um, I want to mention one other one other tip and then I got to wrap this video up and that is taking care of your feet your feet have so many nerve endings in them taking care of your feet is so important you know so that means trimming your feet exfoliating your feet feet cleaning your feet um really important for your skin so so much more we could talk about as always i mean if you haven't figured it out i love talking about this stuff for the sake of uh pleasing the creator of the heavens and the earth and helping you um empowerful woman um uh, empower more in your life but um you know i never want to give you too much because i want it to be actionable and as always that's why we have our q a calls to really get more in depth uh god willing and with that being said all good is from God and any bad is for myself. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.